Hey everyone, it's Jazz, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Jasmine, aka Jazz, and on this channel you will see cash envelope stuffings, budget breakdowns, savings challenges, and all that stuff related to personal finance. So if that sounds good to you, do your girl a favor, hit that subscribe button down below, and let's get into today's video. In today's video, we're going to be doing my second paycheck for the month of December budget with me. So let's go ahead and get going. So the dates that we're going to be working with are going to be today, the 22nd of December until the 6th of January. So on my last budget with me um, or budget breakdown video, I did have until the 16th of December. That was when I got paid again. And that basically puts like a six day window in between that um, pay period until now. And that's actually because I had enough money that led me up into today, the 22nd for that paycheck. So that's why the paycheck is going to be for today, the 22nd and not the 16th. So that is out of the way. So let's go ahead. First things first, we need to talk about how much I am going to be budgeting for the entire paycheck. So I have a total amount budgeted for $1,142. So $1,142 is what I budgeted for the um, pay period and everything. I think this is like maybe a little less than three weeks that I'm going to be working with. So this should be good. So that is what I'm working with. So let's go ahead and get it going. Now, as far as actual budget goes, I'm going to take $10 off because I do move some of my money over into um, my online bank account. So instead of 11, uh, 1142, it's going to be 1132 that I'll actually use for my cash stuffing when I get to that point. So before I continue with that, how is everyone doing? How's everyone been? I'm doing good. Um, we are on like Christmas break here for my job and everything. So I've just been relaxing, taking time off, lying around and just recharging and all that. So that's what I've been up to. What have you guys been up to? How are you guys planning for your um, holidays, your Christmas, any other holidays that you guys celebrate? So let me know down below. What are y'all's plans for this whole holiday season? I plan on staying home, nothing too crazy, spending time with family. That is what I got planned for me and everything. Along with planning in the holidays, I did try and decorate over here. In the corner, I have these little decorative trees that I got from Hobby Lobby years ago. It's just that, oh, uh-oh, that one fell. It's just that they're so big, so like they don't even really fit in the frame like how I'd want to, so just bear with me with that. I'm just, I'm trying to be a little bit more festive when it comes to me recording and everything like that. So let's go ahead and continue on back to the budget. So first things first, my cash envelopes are always what I plan first. Again, my bills are always paid separately. I pay my bills online um, or automatically, what's the word? They're taken out electronically. That's the one I'm trying to find. So let's go ahead, zoom in for my budget and all that so first things first we have groceries and for groceries I decided to go ahead and budget about $220 for this time frame just because um, you, you guys already know <laughs> 220 that's the increase for me for this time period gas is gonna be about 140 again because um, gas hasn't been too too crazy for me let me zoom a little bit more so you guys can see don't judge me for my four. That was not the best four I made. Up next is baby things. I will get my daughter back, I think, at the end of next week. So I'm going to go ahead and plan $80 like usual just because when I do get her back, I'll be able to get whatever I might need for her. Moving on to miscellaneous. This is going to be $35 that I've um, decided. And then for beauty and household, I think... We're going to keep it at 30 as always because I don't have anything too, too crazy I need to suck up on um, for those categories. And then for birthday and holiday, I'm going to keep it at 50 like last time because I know I do have some birthdays and holidays and stuff coming up that I need to just have money set aside for just because. Moving on to spending, I'm going to give myself $30 just because, you know, with Christmas coming up and everything like that. I have bought myself some gifts before because treat yourself, but I don't plan on buying anything else crazy, but I do want to give myself some kind of allowance because I do need to give myself something every now and then. And then fast food is going to be getting 30 as well. 
And so let me get my calculator, add everything up real quick. So that totals up to $615 that I'm going to be um, allocating for my cash envelopes for this next pay period. After that, I go on down to uh, my other categories that I'm gonna be saving for. So first things up is gonna be my e-fund, and this is gonna be getting $32. JSAVE is gonna be getting $10, and this is an online transfer in my bank account, so I never take that money out. And then next up is gonna be a save. She's gonna be getting $5 for her little piggy bank. And then the remainder of all that, so if I add up the $47 plus the, that, so six, 662, so then I subtract that from the 1132 minus that leaves me with $470 left over for my sinking funds that I will be budgeting for. So that is that. Let me go ahead and flip over the page and we can talk about all of all the amounts. So on this page, I basically just put everything that I have written over there, over here on this side so I can do my um, denomination breakdown. So let me go ahead and write everything out for you guys and I'll come back. Okay, so I wrote down everything that I had written down on the other page. And so now we're gonna go over all of my sinking funds, which is gonna be this category over here. So let me zoom you guys back in and let's go ahead and get into the exact numbers that I'm gonna be um, putting aside for each category or for each envelope. So car maintenance is up first. I'm gonna give myself $60 for that because I do need to rebuild that back up after I depleted it here recently. Next up is AB day for my daughter. Her birthday is next month. I think it's in like two weeks or so, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm gonna put money down, uh, 200 down for her. My birthday, I'm giving myself 20 bucks for that. As far as the special events, that's gonna always get $100. My vacay is gonna get 10, as well as my LAT. Wedding is gonna be getting $20 this time around. Clothes will get $10. And last but not least, Support Small is gonna be getting $50 because I do wanna get some goodies. So that is pretty much that. So after this, after I have all my numbers down, I just go back and I tally up how many, I how many? <laughs> I tally up how many I need, uh, how many bills I need for each um, envelope. So as you guys see me doing here, um, I need this much, that much, and that much for that envelope. So that's pretty much it, guys. So I try to keep this video as quick and painless as possible. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your support. Stay tuned. The next video that I post is going to be the actual cash stuffing for this very paycheck that I just budgeted for and everything. So look out for that video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till next time. Bye.